Hello, welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how you can add textures to this awesome map that we created earlier on in part one of creating a simple 2D game. So first thing I'm doing is showing you where we left off last time in the end of part one. And then I'll be showing you how to add those textures. Um, and then we'll be showing you the final image. So let's get started. So if I, if you uh, remember, remember in part one that we created um, this map here, we can see that we had for the sea, we had one shade of blue for the sea, one shade of dark green for the forest, one shade of light green for the grass and a beigey color for the sand. Now, what we want to do this time round is sort of change that, have the same layout, but have more colors. So it looks a bit more like grass or looks a bit more like the sea and it looks a bit more like a forest and sand. And how you can do that is there are two ways. Firstly, you can either take an image from the internet and then resize it and then save that. Or you can sort of draw your own image and then save that image. What I'll be doing, you, doing is showing you how to take an image from the internet and then resize it. So what I've done first is I've gone into Google. I've typed in, say, C tile. I've gone to images and then I've just taken a random image and then copy and pasted that into Word here and then for zoom in. So and I've done that for all four. I've done that for sea, forest, grass and sand. And notice they're a bit more textured. They've got a bit more blues in them. The sea's got a bit more blue. The forest has got a bit more dark green, varying shades of it. The grass looks definitely a bit more like grass and the sand does look pretty awesome, I have to admit. And then what I've done is what you do is after you copy and paste your image here is that you crop it like so. And then you crop it to however small you want to get it. And then you copy and paste it into paint. And then with paint, you have to resize it to the tile size that you've got here. So and how you do that is you go into paint with your image, click on resize, click on pixels, and then remember to deselect maintain aspect ratio because we want a perfect square. And then you just type in, I don't know, 15 for those pixels and it will just come up with this and 15 for horizontal and vertical. And then after you press OK, you'll copy and paste that, cop you'll save that image as a, um, oh, you'll save that image as a PNG or a JPEG ready for use to be put into your Python code. And once you've done that for all four of the you know sea grass forest and sand you're then ready to go on to your python environment so remember earlier that we had to draw these rectangles to be displayed in this format and then this wfgs was linked to a rgb color so in order to get those images we got to change this, RG, this definition here in the dictionary, if I zoom in, to be the name of the files that we have just, these image files that we've just created. And we do that by typing in, instead of having blue, we would type in the dictionary here, we type in pygame.image.load, and then in brackets we type in 2D game C along with the extension, which in this case is .png. And then what that does is instead of loading the RGB color, it will load the C image that we've created using and resized using um, either an image from the internet or an image that we've created ourselves. If you do want to create the image yourself, all you have to do is go into paint and then resize it and then save it. And I've done exactly the same thing as I did for water, but with sand, grass and forest. And then down here, notice in the part one that we had to draw these rectangles to store those colors. 
Whereas it's a bit different here where we're actually having to blit those images. Blit is another word of, of overlaying those images onto our code. And we're going to have to blit those onto our display even. And we have to blit those images in this format um, of you know where we specified, which will then link to the images here. And that is very similar to drawing the rectangle. In fact, I've got the code above where we have the uh, display.blit instead of the pygame.draw.rect. And then we have tile color, exactly the same as above. And then the column times by tile size and the row times by tile size. The only difference with this is that you don't have the don't have to specify put tile size again to specify the width and the height because that's already specified in the image itself when you've resized it. So you just have to get rid of those two and you just have a bit of more of a simpler um, way of putting the images into the code. And then after you've done that, you've successfully um, added those textures to the image and then you can run your code and it should hopefully get an image that looks a bit like this. Uh, the sea does look incredibly horrible, but I think the grass was a success and the forest does look okay and the sand definitely was a success, but um, the sea was definitely not that great. And if I wanted to change the sea, all I'd have to do is go to my Word document, change where I cropped it, change the location of my crop. So if I did this, I could just change it like that. Resave it and then go back to my code and then if I've saved it as an if I've overwritten the file I could just run it again or if I've created a whole new image file then I'd have to type in you know 2d game dot c2 let's say and then rerun it and you'll get a new image for your C. So that was it. It's a bit more of a shorter tutorial but I hope that really gives you an idea of how you can take your map to the next level and make it look a bit more realistic. In the next tutorial, I hope to sort of add some, maybe a bit of a player movement going on with some keyboard inputs, but we'll see how we go. Thank you very much for watching.